everyone, I uh, just want to give you a quick update on my system and my peppers. Everything's going really well. Um, last time I took a video, I held up a quarter. That's a nickel. A um, little quarter next to my pepper for scale. So you can see how it's starting to get up there in size. I um, actually had a little incident down here. You can see a little bit of wear on the stem there. Uh, the pepper actually got too heavy and broke the stem down. Fortunately, I was in the in the house when it happened. And noticed right away, and I ended up suspending some chains from the ceiling, and then attached with some twist ties, so it's holding everything up over well. Um, so the peppers are still doing really well in this system. Um, I actually even have a second plant with peppers now. Uh, there's only Last I checked there was one. Yeah, there's still one on there. Uh, and then the rest of the plants are all flowering nicely. Um, even the ones in the dirt. So everything's going real well. So far, none of the dirt potted plants have peppered. Uh, only the stuff in the aquaponics setup. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, basil's still growing. I trimmed the tops off a little while ago and dried it. Uh, smells really nice. Um, everything, yeah, apple trees, uh, strawberries, everything's doing real well. Um, this is actually some flax seed that I just took out of the pantry and threw in there. Uh, it's a little spindly, not really doing too hot. Maybe not the best crop to grow in this setup or just not tweaked the right way for it. I'll have to look into whether or not it can, you can figure something out for it. Um, I did receive a number of questions about my drain and siphon setup with the duct tape. Um, as you can see on here, the tape is holding up just fine. Um, there's no trouble. I do have it set to off at the moment by having this unplugged. Um, it really, I, I live in this room most of the time, so it makes too much noise when it drains regularly when I'm here. So usually I'll just plug it up and let it cycle when I'm uh, going to be away for a couple days or whatnot. Um, now to prefer something I'm going to do in a little bit, I actually have in this bag here about 200 Japanese maple seeds. So I'm going to do a video on how to uh, kickstart germination in Japanese maple seeds sometime in the next week or so. Um, so I'll look forward to that and as always let me know if you have any questions. Alright, thanks.